So you did my tutorial, you inked it, you colored it, and you scanned it on the computer, but now you want a huge version of it so you can put it on your wall? Well, this video is here to show you guys how to do just that. Find out how, coming up. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw2. My name is Ramney and uh, as I'm working here in my office, I was about to do something and I thought that I would show you guys how to get it done. If you guys read the title, if you guys saw the thumbnail, that is of course how to print a large picture using multiple pages of regular paper just taped and glued together. Um, that is how you do it and I'm going to show you guys one way how to do it using Microsoft Excel. This is the way that I've always done it. Uh, like I said, there's tons of other ways that you can do it, but this is one simple way to do it. I know most people have uh, Microsoft Office and their computers at home. So if you guys have Microsoft Excel and you guys have a printer, this is an easy way to get it done. So um, let's get to it. I'll show you guys right now. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I've opened up Microsoft Excel in my computer and I put my cursor at A1. I like to, um, just for personal um, preference, I like to put my cursor on the very first cell, A1. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to insert a picture. So insert a photo and I'm going to use picture from file. I've already got a picture that I've uh, chosen for this one and it's going to be my logo. It's on my desktop and it's called draw to logo five and press insert. So that is what it looks like right now. Now the thing is when you are choosing a photo for this, uh, uh, this um, thing, uh, this procedure, uh, you need to make sure that you're using a large photo with a high resolution because if you use a small photo and enlarge it to a poster size, it's not going to look good. It'll look very pixelated. So you want to make sure that when you, you know, for uh, Google search, if you're on Google search, you want to make sure that you're searching for large, like really big files in order to do this. So as you guys can see, I've now got my picture inserted in Microsoft Excel. What I want to do is change the layout of this. So I'm going to go to layout and then I'm going to go to page layout because that way it'll show me exactly how the um, picture is going to be divided into several pages. So even though I started over here with the first cell, what it actually does is it has this, uh, it takes the picture and it enlarges it so that it covers a lot of cells. So that's what you want to do. Now uh, for this one, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. As you guys can see, it is encompassing two pages and I kind of want it bigger than that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stretch this out and I'm going to press the shift key. I'm going to hold the shift key because that's just one way for me to keep the uh, resolution of it or keep the exact same ratio. Now you guys can see I've got it uh, enlarged to three pages and that's about a good size, I'd say. So now, as you guys can tell, uh, it's divided into three and what you can do is you can cut one of these, like cut this side right here. Uh, when you print it out, you can cut it out and then you can attach this so that it touches here. And I'll show you that later on when I glue it together, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to enlarge it so that it covers multiple pages just, just so you guys can see what it looks like. So I made it, I mean, I could easily uh, crop it so that this is up at the top here and I only have four pages, but for the sake of this one, I want to make it so that it's eight pages in total so that I can show you what it looks like once I print it out. Um, before I print it out, I do want to change the uh, layout. I want to change the margin to narrow and that just makes things easier. I save a little bit more paper that way if I do that and I can even enlarge it some more. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like when I print it out, right? So uh, I'm just about ready to print it. Now you make sure, um, of course, you want to make sure that your printer is um, is programmed um, the, the right way so that when this comes out, it's all in scale. So this is about ready to print. Now I'm going to print it out and I'll show you what it looks like. File, print. And this is what it looks like right here. Here's my, uh, my printer settings. That's what it looks like right there. When I print it out, it's going to look like that. So it's just a matter of cutting it out so that you have uh, the page that you want or the, the picture that you want. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to make sure that uh, everything, everything's right. The settings are correct and just press the print button. And so here it is coming out of the printer. And as you can notice, it is printing out in different sections, which you then have to uh, cut up and put together yourself, of course, using glue and scissors. If you guys are curious about my printer, this is the Epson Work for Workforce Pro WF4630. I really love this printer. This is the best uh, printer for home office. So if you guys have a home office, I definitely recommend this one. So last one here, I think. Nope, I guess not. I may have printed it twice, but that's okay. And that's it, you guys. There should be 
eight pages on here and um, let me lay it out on the floor so that you guys can see what it looks like and I will show you uh, how to put it together just the easy way of putting it together in, in the way that I do it anyway all right so let's get started with that and so it looks like this on the computer and when I printed it out it looks just like this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some piece, uh, some bits of it I'm going to also cut out just the white areas at the top and the bottom and all I really want is the draw it too. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to go to my desk to do that. But here is what it looks like after you've printed everything out. And so as you guys can see, there's a huge gap over here and there's also a little gap over here. Uh, what I'm obviously going to do is I need to cut one of these out. So what I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little one out, this little gap right here. I'm going to cut one strip going down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and glue it, uh, put some glue on this gap right here. So I'm not going to cut, cut this part out, uh, but instead I'm going to use that as a place to glue this uh, to this uh, this piece right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll do it right now. Now at this point, you want to make sure that you have everything lined up properly because that is what matters the most. So when you're doing this, you want to align it and you want to try to leave as little gap as possible. And you want to try to make sure you don't see any of that white space that's uh, hidden or that's uh, underneath there. You want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So there you go. Um, I'm going to glue the rest and uh, for you guys, depending on what you print out, you'll ha probably have to glue it all the way to the top. But because I'm also going to cut this part out, I'm only going to glue the part that I want to keep. So that is all what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it all together. Just glue everything else and cut, cut and glue the top four pages. And then I'll show you how to attach the bottom. It's, it shouldn't be too hard. It's fairly straightforward. I'll show you how to do the bottom as well. All right, you guys, so I've done the top part. Now we have to attach the bottom to this. And that's not hard at all. You guys could probably figure it out without me having to show you. But let me grab the uh, other stuff here. Um, what I like to do is I want to, um, I want to attach these ones one by one instead of um, gluing all four of them uh, and then trying to glue like two big pieces together. I want to take these pages and I want to do them all one by one. So for this one, it's going to look like this. So obviously we need to cut one of these parts out. And I think I'm going to cut this part right here. And then I glue these one at a time. Now for the next page, you guys notice that if I'm, I'm going to need to cut this side right here and this side right here. So I'll need to cut two sides for this one so that I can properly attach it. Now, like I said, this is where um, the alignment really matters. So you need to do this very carefully in order for everything to be aligned properly. So here I am now, I'm gonna cut the top part and the side. And then when I glue this, I glue this side right here and this side as well. And then just very carefully try to fit it all in. Now the problem with your um, page, if it starts to wrinkle, is that your entire poster is going to wrinkle. So you want to try your best to keep it flush and straight like this. There you go. And let's finish the rest. All right, you guys, so there it is. I've finished uh, putting it all together, all eight pages. Um, I printed out what it looks like on just one regular sheet of paper as a comparison. So as you guys can see, by doing this method using Excel, you can actually enlarge a photo big enough. I mean, this is pretty huge, uh, big enough that you can even put it, uh, post it on your walls. So that's what it looks like on one sheet. And that's what it looks like tiled together uh, with eight sheets of paper in total. So that's what it looks like. And if you guys didn't already notice, that's sort of what I did with this logo that I have on on my door here that uh, you guys see in the back of my videos. You guys look closely, you can see where the, the paper is attached. So from afar, that's what it looks like. And now I've got my logo and I've got my other logo and I'm going to put this up there somewhere or somewhere on my wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That is pretty much it. Let me know, take a picture. If you guys uh, do this uh, tutorial, uh, take a picture of it and send it to me in Google+. Plus. I would love to see what you guys do, what pictures you guys decide to make posters of. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
And that's all the time that we have today. This is just a really quick tutorial, but thank you for watching all the way to the end. And I hope you guys found it really helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in other behind the scenes videos just like this one. And if there are some that you'd like to see, uh, just uh, put it in the comments, uh, make a suggestion if you guys have any. So yeah, that's it. If you guys are interested in finding out the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Remember that clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff for you guys free of charge. And if you guys want to get your hands on some swag, I have t-shirts that are now for sale and I have mugs and mouse pads that are also for sale. And if you want some of my art prints, I now have them available in my art store, draw2.storenv.com. Links to those are also in the description. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you guys subscribe here in this channel. I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. And on occasion, I do tutorials such as this one. So if you guys like what you see, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from my tutorials. Again, you guys, links to those are in the description below. And finally, thank you once again for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video. And just a quick announcement, you guys, if you want to be a part of my outro, I have a link down in the description as well. Uh, all you have to do is record yourself saying, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Record it, send it to me, and I will add it to my videos. So there's that.